Welcome to this Novena for Pentecost. My name is Father Dennis Gill, and I am the rector of the Cathedral Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul here in the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Graciously hear our supplications, O Lord, so that we who believe that the Savior of the human race is with you in your glory, may experience as he promised until the end of the world, his abiding presence among us, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, amen. Today's topic is the gift of understanding. The prophet Isaiah promised that we will receive this gift of understanding, and this promise was fulfilled in Jesus. We all receive the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit in the sacrament of baptism and confirmation, but many of us are not aware of these gifts. So we need to pray to the Holy Spirit every day to grow in the gifts that he has given us. We need to grow in our Catholic faith and conform our lives to Christ and to do the Father's will. What is understanding? The Daily Roman Missal, page 2285, tells us the gift of understanding perfects our perception of the mysteries of the faith and enables us to penetrate more deeply into the divine truth revealed by God. So what is the divine truth? A few examples would be the Blessed Trinity, the Incarnation, and the real presence of Jesus in the Most Blessed Sacrament. One example of a truth of the faith is the value of the human soul, created in the image and likeness of God. This was well explained by our mother foundress, Mother Mary Teresa Talon, who grew in this gift of understanding. She said, every soul comes. She said, you know the value of something. The more you pay the price and the value is greater. So think about the tremendous price Jesus paid for each soul. He shed all of his blood. He went through tremendous torture and suffering. That is beyond our comprehension. Why did Jesus allow himself to go through such horrible suffering and crucifixion? The only answer to this is his love. He did all this so that we could live in union with the Blessed Trinity forever and reach the beatific vision. As the Baltimore Catechism says, God made us to know him, love him, and serve him in this life so as to be happy with him forever in heaven. Mother Founder said, the reason why this congregation was founded is the immortality of soul. So when it comes to winning and saving souls for God, she said, no sacrifice is too great, no place is too lowly for us to visit. She constantly asked of herself, what more can I do for God? And encouraged her sisters to do the same. In all things, she said, we are to rely on the Holy Spirit. We ask the Holy Spirit in these days to penetrate our mind and heart so that we will more fully understand the divine mysteries given to the Church. One thing for certain is that the more we understand God's message to us, we will love God more and more and do all things for the love of God and love of neighbor. 
all we can bring to heaven is loving God and loving neighbor and serving God and serving our neighbor. So St. John of the Cross said that in the evening of life we will be known by love. During this novena, we ask Our Lady to help us to grow in this gift of understanding. She will help us. She is the spouse of the Holy Spirit. Pope Leo XIII also wished that we have a strong devotion to the Holy Spirit. If we do, then what Jesus said in the Beatitude will come true for each one of us. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Come, Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the splendor of your glory may shine forth upon us, and that by the bright rays of the Holy Spirit, the light of your light may confirm the hearts of those born again by your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.